So within the economics team, we are constantly watching the data come in. And right now, what we've seen pretty clearly over the last few months is that the global economy has slowed down. And it's not just the case of, you know, one or two economies pulling down the global growth numbers. This has been a pretty synchronized slowdown in global activity across most major markets. The flip side, though, is that because we have seen central banks across a lot of those economies cut interest rates pretty aggressively so far this year. We think that growth is already starting to stabilize. And as we look out to 2020, the global economy should level off and keep on expanding. When we zoom into Canada, it looks pretty similar in that growth peaked back in 2017 at around 3%, which was very strong for our Canadian economy. Uh, and it's since slowed down. But we do think that there are some factors out there that are still supporting growth. So on the negative side, yes, business investment has been pretty weak. Uh, energy sector investment obviously is, is quite subdued and the trade war between the US and China has really dented business confidence, not only here in Canada, but in the US, and that's flowed through to our export sector. On the positive side, we do see a pretty resilient Canadian consumer still. We still have very low inflation, and very low interest rates, which we don't see changing. And the housing market has actually started to gain some traction in markets like Toronto and Vancouver. Uh, it's performing the best it has been in probably 10 or 15 years in markets like Ottawa and Montreal. So when you combine all of these factors, we have a Canadian economy that is not, you know, growing at an extremely strong pace, but one and a half percent this year, probably a little bit below 2% next year. Uh, and fundamentally, that's that's pretty consistent with an economy that's growing at or, or slightly below what you would expect in a normal year for Canada. So it's not really a negative outlook. It's not an overly optimistic outlook. It's one where the economy is, is pretty stable and pretty steady. And we think that um, that the interest rate environment and the macroeconomic conditions outside of our borders will extend that outlook right through the rest of this year and into 2020.